No singing, because weird audio delay. I don't know. I should be live in a total of now. Time to just double check the Twitch dashboard and away we go. So, hello everyone. Welcome to yet another uh, Golden Sun stream, unless you're new, in which case, welcome to the first Golden Sun stream you've seen. Nice. Uh, <laughs> basically, I'm just playing through Golden Sun, and I get to chat, and I get to say hi, and we have a great time. Probably. I think we will. Uh, <laughs> so what's going on in the world recently not much but i think i love james bond james bond is coming out this year i think i think he is he'll, he'll be back maybe um let me just see if i can get to the there we go the stream manager where you can view the stream of right now there we go I appreciate Twitch gives me the, the 1080p source. Sometimes it's a bit of a, a bit of a luck of the draw if you get it. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just jump right into things. Let me boot up the Golden Sun through my legitimate uh, means of, of playing video games. I think emulation is a very legitimate means. There's a lot of like we've reached this wonderful point. I mean, granted, as long as you, of course, legally own the games, but there's a point where the emulators themselves can provide a better experience, like a more accurate, you know, version of playing the game than a lot of even current console emulated whatever ends up being. So, uh... Yeah, okay, now I just gotta get thingy and... Bam. There we go. So, in the last, uh, last week's episode, uh, I believe we went to either it's Zion or Xi'an. I can never tell, and it's Chinese New Year this week coming up, so <laughs> I think the timing is very apt. But, uh, yeah, I believe in the, in the last week's, uh, sitting, um, I wandered around for a long time. Uh, imagine spending 30 hours trying to get a retro console set up with a capture card just to play an old RPG and struggling to get it working because the old technology is a pain in the ass to work with. 100%? I think there's a certain degree of like, yeah, there is accuracy with an older machine and, um, like there's, there's some extent of that. I think N64 emulation is still moments away from being like very accurate, but uh, I, I saw a, um, a person post a video essay uh, on Mario 64, just on, on Reddit games, nothing too fancy. And you could obviously tell he's running Project 64 because it's got the terrible, like, black aliasing around some of the, a lot of the sprites because it didn't emulate it accurately. And I look at that going, ooh, people who probably don't know better, that's okay, I guess. Um, but I also believe, yeah, like, it's so much easier to just boot up an emulator, and in fact, it's... Uh, relatively cheaper as well which is granted is how I started and ultimately I guess that's what I've been doing recently so uh, like I think that's fine that's fine there's a certain you know nice ease of playing uh, isn't project 64 morally bad to use because of the source code being obtained fairly nefariously um, no it's it's okay it's closed source and they did bundle I do remember they did bundle malware with one of the installers. Um, I think it was it was either 1.7 or it was. I do remember this person. I really do remember this person. I, it was either 1.7 or 2.1, where it's like the program itself was fine, but the installer that you had to go through in order to get it was kind of malicious. Um, I think nowadays your computer would probably be able to spot that, but this would have been back in 20. Uh, uh, actually 1.6 was around for a long time, and that's why a lot of people still recommend 1.6. It's because it's tried and true. Um, but it's also, like, it's not... It is fairly inaccurate in places. Um, 
Uh, although Project 64 is a remarkably like forward-thinking emulator as well because it separates out the graphical rendering and the sound processing into its own like hot swappable modules. Okay. Uh, I heard it was developed using some illegally obtained stuff. I don't know if Project 64 was that, although I do remember Simu, the Wii U one, being uh, one that people floated around as being like, hmm, because that came out very quickly. In fact, that came out during the lifetime of the, the Wii U. Um, I think some people would, uh, hold on. Does this guy want me to, like, do something? He just goes, look there, you see that line? Stand there and use chi. If that tree falls, I will... Oh, like, stand past the line and then move it. Oh, but he wants me to really move it. So he wants me to force it. Like that. Ah! Do you know Kung Fu? <laughs> okay, there he goes. That's one problem with closed source emulators, is that it's, it's sometimes a bit likely that, you know, stuff can happen like that, where the, uh, yeah, the source code's a bit illegitimate, and you can only really tell because of, uh, maybe not exact binary, but because if it's running on x86 and, yeah. She got hit by a gem. That's not going to be good. Ooh. It was very surprising to flood in all, all, the, all the predictions came true. Man. You know what I love? I love um fishing in Terraria is boring. One day I will legitimately play Terraria. It's been it's been ten years and I played it briefly when like it was it came out and Notch was like this is great. This is amazing, um, and now, yeah, I, I barely played it, and it's, it's gone through so many updates, and the dev has pulled out from deploying the game on Stadia because his Twitter account, oh no, his Twitter account, his Google account got got shut down, which, that is a uh, kind of cathartic thread um, for those who are slightly out of the loop, although this is very breaking, like, as of three hours ago, I think. Yeah, the, like, one of the lead devs on Terraria? Like, I think it's the company Google account is just, it's gone. It's like, it's full on just being nuked by, by Google terms. Uh, like we were talking about on PC Socket, it's a wiki game. If you're not into that, it's probably not the game for you. I don't mind wiki games, but I also, like, I do appreciate games that are honest wiki games. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of like just looking things up and not really having it like told in game. I do prefer the game being the experience of finding out info and not just me having a giant book of what ends up happening. Um, but if there's one thing, it harkens back to the days of manuals. Uh, maybe it's a little overtelling, usually, but it comes back to that. So I don't like miss the. It's not chi. Oh. <laughs> I, mm, I really want to say it. I really want to say it, but how are Chi and the Ethan Temple related? Oh, it was the same as Chi. I like this idea of there being different magical forces that all end up being the same thing. I like that idea. So there's Chi and then there's Key. Oh boy. Thick. 
Alright, what's the odds of something good in one of these? Uh, just gotta sleep in the bed. Easy. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe I will get into Terraria at some point. Um, hey! So here's what I'm thinking. I think you gotta get her to spill the water all the way over here. I'm playing it because Genshin Impact is actually driving me batshit. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I I get that Genshin's another one I haven't played, but I Um I don't know. Maybe I should get into Genshin. So I, I have the feeling that I gotta get her to drop the water when she's like right here, because she carries it all the way like here. So that seems like the right spot. Also, nothing else to play right now. Um, yeah, I can think of like a few things, but yeah, it just depends on like what you're into and all that stuff. Uh, so if I cast Frost on that, that will cause it to freeze up, and I think I've got the jump. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Someone's going to be yelling at me because I didn't get one of the earlier ones still. Played a bit of uh, H3 VR, uh, that's Overshoot oh, Hand Grenade 1. I couldn't operate menus properly since I used the quest hooked up to my PC. I should actually do some practice runs for KH2 Rando for Wham. Dude, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, do I just get him? Okay. I, I saved expecting to get wrecked, but nah, we got, we got another one. So that is, I will drag that over here. There you go. Is that about to melt on me? Does that just flash? It just kind of looks like it flashes. Oh, that's neat. Watch out! I missed! Does it go back? I only haven't finished, I think, two or three runs. Um, I definitely, yeah, I I feel like I should play a game more and more times to speedrun it. Um, one day, one day I will play Metro Prime. Uh, for a, a LAN event there, but unfortunately I can't really drag it down to less than three hours and I don't think people are very willing to watch me play like a five hour run. Um, but yeah, maybe I can get better and better at it. Um, so I haven't necessarily announced what I was going to play uh, for it, but that, that's coming up. That's next weekend, not this weekend. Props us to a beginner seat. Maybe. You need weapon, warrior. Check out weapons. What will you buy? Uh, how good are these weapons? That would be a very significant bump to that, but does, does that affect anything else? Is there any reason to use the Shaman's Rod? Or is it more just like, just get rid of it, just replace it with something? Because here's a mace. I can't equip the mace. Um, maybe I should buy, buy that, because yeah, I, I do end up doing some just casual attacking after a while and then these are just uh that's a repel nice all of these seem pretty pretty normal i don't see anything too fancy about them um so yeah other than that i think either this person's gone into a building that i've gone into before sure sweet sealed stuff is hard to plan uh, times for? Agree, yeah. Uh... Did this person run upstairs or did they run, like, out? That's me paying attention. Nice. Oh, no, did you see? You're the warriors from the school. Are you strong warriors? Sure. I'm happy to see strong warriors. I hope you will go west. You. What did I say? No. Okay. So, I guess I just go west, young Meow. That's one. Uh, for anyone who hasn't watched, uh, Mode 7 is on full display. Is it even Mode 7 when it's on the GBA? Because, like, it's specifically Mode 7 on the SNES. That's one of the, uh, the graphics layers, is that the things you can send to it, you can, uh, add 
perspective to the the rendering. Fun fact. <laughs> I kind of really look into it. Like, what exactly is, um, like, Mode 7, how does it work? Like, I really need to look into that. That's a dead end, right? Why are there, like, dead ends everywhere? I swear. We got the pink boys. Uh, ooh, snap. Seven. Am I, is, it, is there ever going to be a time when I need to attack with seven things? Duh. Okay. I accidentally ran. Oh. Okay. Yeah! Whoa. Hi. Okay. My vision, it came true. You think after a while you'd be surprised that your vision's coming true? Or rather, you wouldn't be surprised that your visions are coming true. If only there was a way around that didn't involve going through the actual carved path. I can't hear the voice. Alright, you wanna come? You wanna just... What do I do? Should I return? No. Alright. I must find him. Okay. If I say yes, you're just gonna tell me, like, bugger off. It's not right! Oh, okay. Uh... So... B my brain is telling me I gotta freeze this because I know I'm gonna jump across this later. That was a bit of an unfortunate usage of a five magic spell. That's okay, that's okay. Alright, so that should go up which should allow me to hop up there and then get a thing for later. I can't do anything about Sprouty Leaf right now, can I? I must ply? No. Because that would have used it. And frost isn't going to do anything, because it's a plant, so... Maybe I'll come back with a water ability. Uh, for now... Hold on. Is this your first time? Yeah, it is! We must look a lot like a coastal town, huh? Yeah, you do! Nothing gets by you. We never even had a well in the old days. Oh, okay. Use Zeta Flare. Is that a Genjin one? Maybe. Oh, snap, they flooded. My house is covered in monster spit. And another another church. Now Final Fantasy. Uh could be in one I just haven't played yet. I played one through three and seven, and I don't remember is that a fly part? Uh, Donald Duck is the strongest black mage in the Final Fantasy franchise. Probably is. Uh, even the miners emerge. That is an issue. That is definitely an issue. So we're in. We charge so much. Sure. Push. You want weapons? Sure. Oh, what? what mm, okay. He's making shrimp in a chili sauce. The shrimp looks us. That's a- Ooh. Ooh. The end of King- Is this King of Hearts 3? He is incredibly overpowered. It is. Yes. I do remember, like, yeah, Donald Duck legitimately is, like, the best, like, character in King of Hearts. Which is just a funny thing to know. None of us can go home. But you can- You can go- Unless your home is a little looker, which case, okay. You're an odd one. Uh, dude, the worst part is that, yeah, my sister bought Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, uh, like, in, like, 2008-2009, when the PS2 was basically, like, you know, it's, it's going away, it's, they really gotta get rid of stock. And, I never really got into it. I'm not too sure why. Uh, but that was also, like, 10 years back, and I think I might have tried it, like, once in between, but, uh, maybe, maybe with a bit more willpower and a bit more... You know, force myself to really get into it. Because that's the thing with like some RPGs is that I know, I know it's, it's it's a sign of an abusive relationship when you force yourself into it. But legit, a lot of RPGs don't immediately punch you, which is a problem. It's something that a lot of people don't quite get into. Ah, oh, he's gone bigger. Uh, I played it as a kid, and then with the HD remixes, I jumped back into it and played pretty much the whole franchise. See, that's something. Is that if there's a game that like do manage to really, really get into. Like, that magic is great. Is he just gonna jump to the cave? He is. Okay. 
Well, the good news, he stopped. Now you just gotta get some straws. Drink it all up. Drink it all out. Um, so I assume dungeon. Look at that, 19, 19, 20 minutes into the, the stream. Uh, I played basically halfway through T2 2020. I played through the entire franchise before turn 3 started. Dude, that's dedication right there when it comes to the JRPG franchise. Ooh. So you just made a platform for me to follow that seems like a very tutorially thing to indicate that you can freeze the platforms but i've already done two dungeons evolving the mechanic and that just is like sliding down a cliff did, did i do something out of order or is that it's also because i know i started telling me about how cursed the story is. i hear it does get cursed i hear it does get like really cursed the the donkey videos about it like you know, they, they, they highlight a certain aspect. I think we take a donkey video to heart, but it's also like... Yeah, like... Living statue. Okay. Uh, I could revive a downed ally. Yeah, I guess you could just use it. Uh, so you can do that, and... Let's see what Neptune is. So I'm just reviving that one. Nice. Water blessing? I have been blessed with water. So here's a new uh, ability. It's a giant whale that has way too many particles for the GPA to handle at full speed. Mostly because because of retcons. Like any story that goes for a long time. True, true. I always hear um, Terminator is a classic franchise in that regard because not only do they get time travel to kind of give the excuse of being able to retcon, it's just the fact that they do retcon anyway. <laughs> Seems like, oh, okay. Uh, Ramses was the other one I didn't get to, to show off. Uh, see, I, yep, never know which one's better, okay, or whatever. Uh, and you already used your ability, so... Uh, just go with that nice. Look at that, what is that? It's just a... Temple thing, pyramid thing, with the head on the top, and it punches. That's cool. Uh, this guy's not like too strong. Yeah, he's, he's actually not like too bad. Uh, oh, nice, like this fist of judgment. <laughs> Oh, is that actually what it's supposed to be? It's just supposed to be, um... Okay. I wonder how bulky this guy is, though. So I'm gonna take some damage. I have no clue. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? There's probably, like, games out there where they do have, like, those deep references to things, like, um... Uh, what's the game with the the top of my head my brain's thinking system shock 2 but something alluding to, to Xerxes being the um, the king effectively because Xerxes was a king um, and that's the the AI who was in charge of the ship maybe he gets overthrown you don't have bits uh, oh like twitch bits I know I know I need I need to have the um, the affiliate um, Tiamat and also uh, agree to Twitch owning my content. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that'll, that'll be one for the eventual, but I do have a, a PayPal, which I don't know gets alerted, but that's always a fun one. Dude, this, this bird is ruining this guy's day. Okay, well, he's gone. So, is, is that the only thing that was causing the water to be, like, risen? Frost jewel. You destroy the monster and suddenly no water. So you've done it. Nice. Uh, I have mine right on. I, had, I wasn't doing any mine reading earlier. Uh, 
how to cause a drought in under five minutes. Exactly, dude. Okay, real talk. If I lived in a world where we had water creatures that would just conjure up so much water, like, I'd harness that. So, okay, it seems that we've got a lot of water still. This is like Sutopolis in um, Ruby Sapphire. Oh, sorry, I so might just keep going. Like, there's gonna be some places which. Let's see, it's gonna be like swim. Oh, that's actually kinda of nice. Uh, there's like pots tipped over. House is soaked. Okay, okay. Let's give him a minor read. Nice. I've legitimately gotta read it more, more mines. It's probably a lot of magical dialogue that I'm just missing. Okay. Uh, I'm expecting more monster. Okay. Take, take the guess. Oh. oh my gosh. Most terrifying enemy. Sticky poison? That's the worst kind of poison. Why does Isaac have so much health, I just realized. Seriously, he's he's got like 198 max health. What's going on there? What happened? How did he become the tank? Okay. I appreciate every character having way more max health now. It's quite nice. Uh, he actually got sticky poisoned. Uh, gotta watch out. What's with poison effects in JRPGs? I really do like them. Like, how, like... Terrifying is it in Pokemon where like your your Pokemon can literally like suffer damage over time. I thought that was fire hydrant. Nice. That that's the thing, is that the <laughs> you only get so many pixels on the GBA. How do you how do you describe what's a slime and what's a fire hydrant? Um It's even like water based, isn't it? There's the fire hydrant again. It, oh, it's white on the top as well. I think, I think that's supposed to be eyes on the front. Sun voltage. Okay. Maybe the sword does the blizzard? Because it seems to consistently be Isaac, and I can still never figure out what's exactly going on there. Uh, is following the track the bad idea? Slightly seems like I am gonna backtrack. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. Uh, I'll just real quick, and you can do a flare wall, and you can do a. Ooh, powerful attacks. And you can just attack. We got a 69 damage, we did it. Game's over. <laughs> Definitely we're taking a bit of damage though. Uh, I have entered the menu, nice. Other thing I always find interesting about like JRPGs is uh, their experience system and at what point is like the maximum of that experience system. Sometimes it's like fairly on the way, sometimes you are so early in it. Like Dragon Quest is a, a great example where they would have, well I'm glad I walked all the way over here just to experience this dead end and I'm... Hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I know Dragon Quest would, uh, beyond Dragon Quest 2, and Dragon Quest 2 is kind of terrible because it's got a max level that's like right when, like, the end boss stops being cheap, is the moment that you stop getting better. So, um, but, uh, but then you'll play like Dragon Quest 4, for example, and like your, your party will end up being around level 35, 40, but you can go up to 99. It, really does go up so high. Um, Pokemon Gold Silver is a great example where 45 is the intended like end game. Um, and then X and Y, it's 
70. Just, why not? Monkey. Oh, it's an egg. It's an egg. Uh... So, I, I always find that interesting, especially when it's a game that doesn't have, um, it doesn't have post-game, like any of the, the Dragon Quest originally. Like, they'd, they'd have those, those experience, like, you know, ceilings that are so much higher than the end of the game, but then you never get to use it. I can understand maybe, you know, like, intending, oh, if the player's having a hard time, you, you know, you can, you can increase the, uh, or rather, you can add a bit of a room above, just so that the player can, can do a bit better. But... At what point do they, like, not do that? Uh, I'm gonna need a double, double stack the healing. Uh... I'm legitimately just gonna cover that. Uh, there it is! There it is! I was waiting for the bot. Ooh, jeez. This is when someone would yell at me for not buying armor or anything. Like, my, I've got money, my characters are definitely in the mood to get some extra, extra stuff, but... Who would buy followers? Like, you can easily just, like, make a, you know... You could legitimately make just 50 Twitch accounts, one every day, dummy email address. You can legitimately do that if you really wanted to do it. But where's the satisfaction? You got no audience. What's the point in playing games? Live on Twitch. If, like, maybe for sponsorship? Maybe. I do remember back in the YouTube days when there was no, like, through YouTube, um, affiliate status and your partnerships effectively had to be with a third-party service. That was like, that was crazy Wild West time when like everyone was like, oh, I'll give you, uh, like, you can affiliate with our company. And so you'd get stuff like, uh, the Game Station and, uh, a lot of other ones. And I remember sending, like, some emails to try and actually, like, look into them. I think I was skeptic. I was, I'm glad I was a bit skeptic at the time. That was a really bad one. Yeah, that became... Polaris, which, I don't remember anything too weird happening. Also, by the way, is that a, oh, that's just status, okay. I was thinking like, is there a, um, a formation button there? I was like, oh. Machinima, yeah, that was Machinima. Um, I hear Machinima was a pretty all right one. But I feel like, you know, once YouTube started doing it, it was kind of like, just better to go through YouTube, unless you, legitimately have, like, a network. You have a group of people who are, um, you know, who are your, your stuff. In which case, I can understand, like, having your own internal network. Um, but, yeah, like, how they made money, like, that eh, was a bit tough. So I can get in, and then we go sailing around until we hit the, the ramp. Nice. Nice. I'm glad that is exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, let me just save in front of this guy, because you never know. It's weird that it does no animation, you just kind of go into the fight. Uh, maybe I'll go through my old YouTube stuff, my old YouTube uh, mail at some time and try and find like those way old like, oh, like, you know, we'll set up a partnership. Um, I think the way people do it is that they, they spot you on Social Blade, um, and then they think that you have way more followers than you really do. So, if, for example, if you go on Social Blade right now, you would legitimately think I'm making either sixty to $2,000 a month through YouTube ads. I make like two. They don't know, like, I don't know where the, the metric comes from. They, they don't, it's just so off, and so, okay. Um, And yeah, I, I always find, like, the, the idea of doing, like, YouTube stuff commercially, like, it's always a fancy, and especially because you'll always, I mean, 
the more prominent people on YouTube do it as a career. That you're obviously going to see them more than you're going to see uh, a person like me who only does one video a week, for example. Um, but I like the idea of just like you know you do it because it's something you enjoy. Um, because that's something that. Uh, oh, did I heal? I was I. Sometimes I do a thing and then I don't pay attention and I just, like, selected it. Bad habit of mine. Uh, because you need to do Neptune. Nice. And then hopefully Ivan doesn't absolutely cop it. There we go. Lots of water. Jeez. It's not as good, I assume, because it's the water enemy. So the water elemental. Isn't as great. Isaac is now level 15, and uh, that's that's a bit of the bunnies. So I'll drain the water a bit more, and then I go back and okay, cool. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and ah, uh, that's why that's why your health like goes all wild because you know. You're Characters, so Flint should have Flint. Oh, I saw Flint. Oh, just put that. Garrett should have more health. Uh, okay, I just assume that goes around. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Maybe I force it. They've teased me. They have just... They've really teased me. Wow. Uh, let's... There's, there's not enough magic on, on Isaac, apparently, to, to keep that up. He's too... He's too broad. All this magic just... I swear. He's got too many rolls. He's got a lot of health. He's got to do the healing. He's got to do the damage. Doesn't have magic. What a shame. Oh, I think it's taking it. And you don't even have to do it, you can use his on yourself. Uh good old old YouTube. What else would you say moves this? Because move isn't grabbing it. Four seemed to miss it. Uh, the only other one I've got is either like it's ply, which is highly unlikely, or whirlwind, it's a rock. So I'm going to assume there's a rock break kind of ability for later. Um, and yeah, I've got the water level lowered, which means I can bail out. And in fact, I can legitimately bail out. Instead of just walking outside. Look at that. Did the work. So now the water is even lower, but still not quite there. Poor guy, he's got a hole in the top of his house. Could the guardian statues, could the statues have become these statue monsters? Alright, so now I can legitimately buy armor. Maybe I should just buy armor. We got regular armor that looks great on. Garrett, who legitimately has nothing, but Boost Peak, ooh, ooh, that actually might be really nice. And we also got the rope, which, that's 12 defense, and that's 10 uh, on that. Uh, I assume because the, the, uh, actually, I, I was thinking, like, maybe the armor isn't too bad if it gets wet, but the clothing and the robe, I, uh, vacuum sealed, they were in bags, I don't know. Uh, so I could get shields. Yeah, I'm tossing up like how much is too much. We got the circlet, that improves it by, I think, regular armor seems to be the best thing. I think clothing is probably the best option for, um, for both of these two. I gotta really sort out this inventory, I swear. Now, either that or 
I just get like no, no stuff back. And then do I buy the expensive armor? Do I go for it? I'll go for it on Garrett. Ah. Oh. Sell the shirt. It doesn't need a shirt anymore. I'm I'm absolutely dreadful when it comes to inventories and JRPGs, by the way. You'll, you'll see me do like the worst stuff. So I was gonna say like Garrett's holding on his game tickets and then I just like chuck some onto whoever else. So okay, uh so then everything else isn't too That seems like it's a pretty hefty like improvement for 900. And especially considering like the leather armor is pretty cheap. Okay. Yeah, those was, those seem to be really good improvements. Oh, you got to do so much manual work. So the gloves are also in the list. Okay, so the gloves replace the shield. So the shield, that's the same... I assume these two can't equip the shield. So that's what gets them there. Um, whereas the circlet can be worn because hat, whereas these two can't wear that. Considering neither of these two have helmets, this should probably be an alright thing to balance. It's just... Oh. <laughs> Inventory, am I right? Uh, oh wait, the Master is like... Uh, which one's... One of the nut? I will give it to, to you. All of it. And then... Inventories, inventories. Okay, so now I can buy the helmet for both of these two. Because that seems that seems like a, a must have. Oh gosh, that's that's pain. That's pain that like you gotta You barely have any ground to actually like hold stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There we go. There we go. And he equips it. So now he's at 109. He's got so much armor. Uh, now, I don't have too much extra. So I'm thinking that the improvements here are not as dramatic. Uh, we've got the bracelet, so that's fine. The gloves. Like, you know, that feels a bit, a bit of a boost, but I think... I think I'm gonna spend the rest on swords. I think now's like the good time to invest in it, because yeah, if you, because that's the problem with some of these JRPGs is that like you'll get um, items, or rather you'll get money, and then it's like there's not enough money to really buy stuff every time you get the opportunity to buy things. Uh, that's not the <laughs> the um, weapon shop down below, is it? So the inn's up here. Where, sorry, my brain's fighting. Where's the, the weapon shop? That's not legitimately in the water, is it? Did I pass by the weapon shop? Did, as in, was he... Oh, was there someone selling weapons above? That's probably what I'm thinking of in the end. Uh, it was like this guy. No, he's selling. He's selling in. Of course he is. Uh, this guy mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to be defensive. <laughs> Buy the weapons in a bit. Uh, and no, I have not actually caught up with my old Let's Play to figure out how, how, uh, up to date I've, I've gotten with this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how convenient, there's a passage at the bottom of the mine. Uh, so, I need to go, I think I need to go on the other side of this. How convenient that there's, like, a little entrance at every level. Uh, 
Oh, duh. What's the left? Yep, got it. So now that's drained and I can go one level lower. Ah! Um, I guess you can just activate the goods. Unleash the goods. And yeah. Ah, oh, you've got so much magic, you can't even use most of it. That's crazy. What's up, Young? How's it going? Uh, oh wait, yeah, yeah, just, just unleash, unleash the bird instead of going for it. Nice. Oh, that's a, mm, that's a sizable damage. That's, that's a lot of damage. And that's just gonna kill the rest. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, okay, where do we go? We got a track. Do I have to switch something? right here, or does it just... Oh boy, there's a jump. That's where I gotta get to. Uh, we got Splatoon. I appreciate the names, they're just Kalimars. So yeah, so... For people just tuning in, uh, this is a casual run through of Golden Sun. Uh, I'm playing it kind of blind, uh, and by kind of blind, I mean I tried starting a Let's Play of this back in 2008, um, and I gave up at some point, and I have completely forgotten the game, but I'm now playing it again, and yeah, we'll see how far I get before I'm truly stuck, but I'm feeling like I'm doing pretty alright. Uh, currently in the story, we've got this town, everything's flooded by the water creatures. Uh, you're a kid, you're a squid. Dude, you gotta watch out for these squids, man. They can spray you pretty good. You think they'll make a Splatoon 3 on the Switch? Because they have stopped Splatoon 2. They, I mean, they don't have a, a monetization model. They made a expansion um, campaign just for single player, and then that's it. So I feel like at some point, you know, it, it seems lucrative. Splatoon seems to get quite a lot of interest, and good on Nintendo for actually making a shooter that is reasonably different and gets at least a Twitch following. Because uh, <laughs> I th was it. Was it before or after the last stream? I think it was on the day. Battleborn died. The, um, the, um, the, the effectively a MOBA, but first person by Gearbox, uh, from 2016. And the worst part is that I heard it had a decent, uh, PvE component to it. Um, but because of... Probably the marketing, probably the fact that, like, nearly everything tried comparing it to Overwatch, which... Funny how Overwatch is sitting in this weird boat where, like, people know of it, but, like... Is it kind of dead in this country, in Australia? I'm pretty sure it's kind of dead. Oh, more levels, man. More levels. Uh, ooh. Thought so. I was like, it's too obvious. Sitting there. Knows what it is. Yep. Uh, is that legitimately going to lull him to a sleep? Probably not. Ah, oh, the side drain. What's your option on Dark... Oh, sorry, your opinion on Dark Dawn. Um, you know, I, n I never played the second one. But I did... I, I bought and played the third one. And I thought it was pretty alright. It was a little shorter than I expected. Uh, this was way back, but I liked how how it all came together. I just, yeah, I can't remember too much about it. I think it probably sits in that like IGN 7 out of 10 camp where it's a game that you'll play, you'll probably go, yep, that's, that's a game, and then that's it, which is a bit unfortunate, and I think that's something that Golden Sun uh, may unfortunately suffer from, is that it's a JRPG that has like, not too many 
I guess, distinct elements from other RPGs. I like, I like the, uh, the Jin system. It's really nice. Doesn't necessarily carry, like, the game on its own, but I guess, yeah, like, how many JRPGs are really, like, hugely unique. I mean, I, I, I absolutely love Dragon Quest and how unique are those games, really. Everyone's ripped off Dragon Quest in some way, and yet, here we are. Still going. Still a franchise. Um, so, yeah, no, I'd say, I'd say it was alright. I'd say it was alright. We got the Ramses. It's a, the little light tap. You think the mimics would get easier over time? Because I'm dealing more damage. It's not too bad, but they give you experience and game tickets. It's cool. Okay, here's a question. How do you sort your inventory in like... Okay, maybe you just say LA. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just go for it. But like, how do you legitimately sort your inventory in a way that like... works? It... Like, I can understand maybe it's like, okay, everyone needs a healing item because if someone dies, someone else can back up. You got your equipment, uh, which I have a spare sword that I cannot... Oh, it even gives you the stats, like, straight up. So I should look at that and go, there's no, there's no benefit to using anything that's got a lower attack, right? That seems fair enough. I don't think your, um, your magic has any, uh, any relation to the weapons you're holding. I think it is just, like, you just go for it. Oh, it totally does need a better weapon, though. Oof. You know, uh, for reference as well, you know what's a, uh, a hilarious Golden Sun, but not Golden Sun? Uh, the Harry Potter Game Boy games, where especially the Prisoner of Azkaban uh, was quite heavily inspired by this game. It, it feels so much just like, yeah, I saw that game and just was like, just go for it. Um, it's not half bad. It's got a huge pacing issue near the end of the game, uh, where here's a boss, it's an absolute brick wall of a boss, where it's like, you're just so ill-equipped for it. Um, I'll give you a ply. I'll give you a ply as well, and you can do a boss. Um, so if you're legitimately a Golden Sun fan, uh, maybe give the Harry Potter Game Boy games a try. Um, that's back in the era when, like, licensed games could be hits. They could be pretty good. Um, I think it was quite shortly after when, yeah, a lot of licensed games ended up being cash grabs. Even, I guess they were always, to some extent, cash grabs, but... It's interesting that you get things like GoldenEye, uh, which legitimately, like, push, push a genre. And then it's like... What's a, what's another game like? Uh, oh, we'll leave them set. What's another game that's like that where it's like it's such a genre of the finding game, uh, and it's a licensed game. I don't think it's in the same boat, but my brain's thinking a Hello Kitty game, like the the SNES one, which ended up like the tennis one. It doesn't have the, the golden eye, like I see, we'll just say. That is just a regular tarantula, or as it's never referred to, a tarantula. What name, tarantula? Uh, is there another thing I gotta raise here? Why can I just walk all the way up? This seems like a culmination kind of puzzle, where it's like, okay, you think you're hot shot, you think you know what's going on. But do you really? I look at that and I go, ooh. Ooh, where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, the multiplying. You gotta watch out for those things. Ah. Oof. And herb. I 
have a feeling you gotta flick that right, but I'm not 100% sure what actually that will, like, do in the end. Why does Isaac's PP, like, it's so low? It's 64, but he, yeah, he's expected to do, like, everything. Okay, so if that track went left, that's why I'm figure out. It then bounces. It bounces. And, oh, it hits a dead end with a chest. Okay, so I do want that. Uh Okay. I'll concede I'll do an attack. So here's my other thing with JRPGs is uh I know wild encounters, random encounters, like, you know, natural progression, you gotta have them for the most part, unless you're Final Fantasy 2, in which case you really don't have to have them. Um But it's obviously one where you're watching and you're like, oh, he's in another battle and he's technically not making any, like, hard progress, but he is, you know, at least getting some character progression in there. And it's like, yeah, at what point are you actually just doing the same thing over and over again? Um... Ah, oh, got it. Okay. So, like, this is, like, it's almost the same encounter as what I just did. So, you, and, and you're seeing me do almost the same, like, setup, if not actually the same setup. That's one where I, um, yeah, I had that kind of, like, thought when, uh, I was doing the, um, the Pokemon Blue Let's Play, and I decided, no, I'm gonna leave all the battles in, because legitimately, the game is quite short if you remove the, the, even the, the trainer battles. Um, and the trainer battles are supposed to get around the fact that people don't want to do wild battles. Although, that could be their fault for making the wild battles just, like, incredibly, like, slow experience-wise. Like, wild Pokemon in, in, in those games are, like, they're reasonably tough. You can't get through a lot of areas if you just stop and fight wild Pokemon. You know, I just... Did I just buy shields? I think I just did just buy shields. I just got another shield. So you can't equip it. And yeah. Yeah, I totally did. I totally did just buy shields. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Did I? No, I don't think I did. They were bronze. No, 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 I didn't try the shield support helmets. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Ah. Uh. Ah, the sticky poison. What is sticky poison? What would what, what material would it be? Is, is there a, a type of poison that's distinctively sticky? I guess you could get maybe something that's sugary to to mask the um you know the the taste of the poison. Um. Ah. Whoops. Whoops. Uh. Wink. Uh. Yeah, 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 no, uh, this is, Blundo's tip is to becoming a serial killer. What, what do you put in your poison to make sure that people don't taste it, you know, like... That's probably a thing, isn't it? Actually putting lots of sugar in it. Because I'm thinking, what else makes you, you know, a liquid sticky? Not like you put adhesive in your... <laughs> That'd be a fun one, yeah, yeah. The poison stuck to you. <laughs> How'd you do it? Ah, oh, mounting tape. <laughs> that that would be super effective. It would. I'd always hear of like those stories of like person super glued their hands or something like that, but like. I, I, I'd always go like, oh, like, can't they just pull it apart? And I'd always refer to, like, my, my little boss stick or my little uhu glue. The stuff that you'd get in school and obviously only stick things down, like, so that you can't, like, hold it upside down, but you can definitely just, like, peel it off. Although sometimes, some pieces of paper, it's like, no, that will just tear the paper. That absolutely gets us up. But I assume that they're talking about, like, something, you know, much more heavy-duty. Um, how does... How do kids get get a hold of you know like super glue? That's that should be something you 
really, like, tuck away. Like, just don't. Just don't. You know, hide the alcohol in front of the, the super glue. Uh, cause, uh, cause, yeah. I did see, I did see this terrifying video of a person who, um, uh, who wanted to keep their hair cut, or their, their hair styled in a certain way, and they used, uh, as, as they claim, they used Gorilla Glue, and they're like, yup, it, it's not going anywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> Like, what? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing that that can happen. That, that you'd put Gorilla Glue in your hair, and you'd commit to it. You wouldn't just go like, okay, I use it for a little bit, I see how it sets, and then go, oh, snap. Like, don't do it. Like, no, you commit, you do the entire head. And now your hair is just full on stuck to your head. Like... And that's gonna be terrible. That's actually gonna be terrible, because like, how does it get off? Like... It's gotta literally decompose off your head. Can't it? Like... Is that the only way that the, that the stuff can, can go? Using Gorilla Glue was an actual 70s, 80s punk thing, I believe. Was it as strong as it is now, though? Hair always grows out, though. Uh, for, like, mohawks and whatever. True, I guess. How else do you keep a mohawk up? Yeah. That is hilarious, though. Uh, <laughs> That seems to be going a lot quicker than, than it used to. So, I feel like that's the bottom, so I can just... I can just retreat out. Whoosh! I, I think the person had like, uh, they had like a, a, a very typical weave, uh, ponytail kind of haircut. Um, so nothing, like nothing that needed a mohawk to look, it was just... It was just something that legitimately, like, just, just use, a, use a clip. It'll stay out. Okay, so now I can enter... Finally get some weapons. So, all of these are so much more pricey than I expected. So I, I guess the light blade... You can equip the light blade! Can I hit L or R or start or select to figure... No, I can't. Okay. Because, like, you can't even equip the mace. Okay, so 103, you can't equip the light blade, so of course. You definitely don't need another weapon. I think that's just a that's just a given. You gotta get rid of that. And then the mace seems like the stronger attack here, which is still yeah. One day I'll figure out where to use these maze uh, these game tickets. You could also benefit from that, but I don't. I, mm, do I? Yeah, I'll commit to it. I'll commit to it. And your pack's full. I always. Oh, I swear. I get it to just. I, the worst part is that people are probably looking at, <laughs> looking at my inventory, going like, "What's going on here?" So here's something. This seems like it's a, um, what's a game I play? Like a Dragon Quest thing, where if you use the item as, uh, or rather in your inventory. Um, none of those seem particularly, like, within my playstyle. Like, that seems like one that would be kind of nice if it wasn't for the fact that I can only equip it on someone else. And then, repair, I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, so we'll go with the Light Blade on... Well, now you really need it. There you go. Alright, so maybe I should just sell some stuff. Okay, so... Uh... So what else? Causes damage with flames. Uh, see, if I had to say something, I'd probably say, like, these are probably not that useful. And at 
probably so I can clear some inventory space for them. Uh, I think that is a, that's like a, um, uh, like a permanent stat up, so I should either figure out someone to use it on or whatever. That looks like it sells for pretty alright, but the herbs just seem rather huge. Do, are they rather moot now? I don't know. Okay, so then we got the game tickets. They just don't sell. There's no point. Uh, lulls enemies to sleep. Uh, that doesn't come up at all. I don't need it. Power bread. That's a heal, or that's a stat. Bestows frost when equipped. So I should probably look into that one. Yep. Alright, so I don't need that. And no one's gonna use that. Uh, that's just another herb. Uh, that's better healing. And... Oh, is that a, um... Is, is this a one-time, or is this like a keep using it kind of thing? And then, uh, that's just cure and poison. It seems like it's handy to have for the moment. Uh, rest of the scene... Well, I don't need a shield now, because we got better shield. I got the armor. Longer sword. Di mm, mm, I just realized what I did. Did I? No. Okay. I thought I sold the sword that I just gave. But then, yeah, no, no, it clicked in my head. No, you, you prompt for a equip. So I couldn't have accidentally done that. Hello. People. Oh, dig up that spot, eh? The bottom of the mine, the end of the... Oh! Okay. Nope. Okay. Nice. Bottom of the mine to the very east. Look at that good though. The mine flushed everything out. So bottom of the mine to the very east. I assume... Disregard that. Just go straight to the end, and then there should be a dead end, maybe? Uh, I didn't clear out the monsters, did I? So now everyone should be doing fairly more damage. Well, 33 is more. I think probably, uh, no one's been crying out yet in my comments, but someone probably would. Someone probably would be quite upset that uh, I hadn't upgraded any of the equipment. But that'll hopefully get through things quicker. Okay, so continue go- oh my gosh. I'm gonna get so lost, aren't I? Oh boy, it just keeps going. Jeez. Dead sword. It's it's a sword that hasn't died yet, or it is dead. Is it? Is what is undead? Is that supposed to be something that cannot be dead? Is that what that word is actually supposed to mean? Because I I know it includes like zombies and skeletons and all that stuff, like things that are typically associated with dead things, but. Well, that is a treasure, but I don't know if that's uh, necessarily the thing that they were referring to, but sure. Deadent. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, can we petition to just rename it to Deadent? Darn Tarantulas. Who goes into a cave and there's Tarantulas? Alright, so that uh, oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. This is a double hop. So if I frost that. There we go. And then... Oh, that's gonna hit a dead end up here, and then I need to flip it around when I arrive up there. I think I should buy the repels.
This is the world we live in. That's such a, like, it, it's a songwriting thing I don't really, like, think of too much, but songs that have, um... Uh, actually, that song doesn't have it, where it's like, we always sing verse-chorus, but you can always have, like, a pre-chorus, um, where your chorus consists of, yeah, more than, more than one, like, section. Um, I'm, I always remind myself of, um, uh, here's your Boomer Blendo song reference, but, uh, anyone listen to the, uh, The Colony of the Slithermen off The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway, that's got, that's a, like, it's a longer song, it's definitely, you know, got the, got the space to do it, but I love the fact that, like, there's... Um, uh, four or five, like, melodic sections to it. And it, it just goes, like, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Which is, like... So you, you got that one part, I, without hitting copyright, uh, where, uh... Uh, uh, what's the second chorus? It's like, look here, down, look up to them, like that, that going on. And then, uh, uh, me, like you, like them, like that, that's the second bit, and then, people who know what I'm talking about would 100% get this. What's the overlap between people who watch, you know, my videos and then people who listen to him lies down on Broadway. Not zero, but maybe. It actually might be zero. Who knows? Uh, I'm in this awkward spot where I have really not been healing, and I need to get rid of this gin. I got a sunset. Uh, point is, I like the idea of just like your your song not being like A B A B. C, B, or some variety of that, but keep going, just add more sections. Like, as long as you return to some idea, like, and your song is four minutes, seems to be fine for, you know, for, uh, for radio play. Oh, I've got play well as well. Okay, here's something, uh, as well. Uh, I observed this. I assume I can just equip that, and then I know cross gem, and that is like it's not even in this list; it's just there. So now you can do frost as well. Why would you want to do frost? I guess just share the load. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, and then yeah, let's multiply. Let's make sure people are healed. And on top of that, I don't trust having these set. I'm actually going to unset them all. Uh, that's recovering, so that's fine. Uh, so I could continue up the top, but I think the idea is to hop across here and then take the, the diamond minecart out. By the way, you love how I've spent like the whole like like hour and thirteen right now, like just in these caves. These dungeons, they they go on. They've got the the girth to them. So I don't even think that's the only song in the album that has the, the A, B, C, D kind of structure to it. I'm also thinking, um, the Lamnia near the, uh, uh is it, there's no N in it, it's just the Lamnia, I think. <laughs> Maybe it has the N. It should be a Lamnia, shouldn't it? Um, and that's, that's got, uh, more, maybe not more sections, but I think it, it's got that, um, that level of, uh, no, it's not just a simple A B A B. I like that. You need some interesting song structures. Just chuck your ideas, do them in a bit of a weird order. They'll make your song unique. So you, there's there's a lot of like people who do stick themselves into that typical song structure. I'm like, oh, like 
I, th I feel like, yeah, you can just take take anything and make it make it a good song structure. Okay. Here's a guy, uh, and I got rid of all my gin, so... Let's do defensive stuff, and I'll start with a fizz. This guy's gonna be interesting, because he's gonna be the fourth Mercury one. In that case. 64, okay, okay. Not the worst, not the worst. Fun size forge. Okay. Uh, do I just cast court? No, 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 I'll stick with the healing for the moment. Um, just a regular cure. Let's see if we can get him to sleep. I think there's going to be a massive boss in here at some point. Or is, is this the secret? Is this what they were referring to? Like, just like if I just wandered east. I'd eventually find this guy. Because legit, I really don't want to like explore every single path, but who knows, maybe that's actually what they intend for me to explore with. Um, so you can now use Kieran. You can use a gust. You can use a mist. Man, really kicking their butts today. Or I'm overleveled. What a lovely sound effect. So I can't equip him because or rather, I can't equip on uh, on Mia because Mia's got too too many thingies. So uh, I guess we'll just equip there. Uh, let's let's stand by that and let's reset some of these. I do want to see what you get with four of these. That'll be interesting. We're going pretty overkill, aren't we? I assume you can go back for these as well. Like, I haven't locked myself out of any of these yet, hopefully. Unless I disc two myself. Uh... Alright, uh... Let's just see how good this is. We got the Aurora Boreas. You're not even on the field, you're just gone. There you go. He's just, he's just a snow cone machine. He's just a, a mighty snow cone machine. Oh, 264. Here's another thing I, I really want to figure out. What, like, the increased water power or the el whatever elemental power by a certain amount. I wonder if that's an actual, like... That's a mechanic I'm just really unaware of, uh, where the more you use Jin, you gain X power towards that stat. And then that might correlate towards some, you know, maybe that actually correlates towards the stat increases, which is why Isaac's struggling, because instead of Jack of all trading him, I'm forcing him into probably the tanky role. I don't know, maybe. He's got the Blizzard Sword. Uh, maybe I'm just circling back. Ow, it just, he just goes. Yeah, like, you, you do need to watch for rolling rocks. That's that's something. Oh, I can't heal anymore because I've got. Yeah, all of that stuff's just gone. Ooh, he doesn't get his fire stuff, but I'm curious. Like, that's actually kind of neat. I I wonder if there are like also combinations of these result in different kinds of attacks. Maybe that's one where it's like, yeah, if you had... Like, if I, if I... Or rather, if I traded that with this, then it's like, you'd get... 
yeah, you get Astral Blast, you get some other ones, and then Ivan would get something called Prism, and then trade over here, and you'd get... Well, you wouldn't get anything, because you've already got all of them. And then, same thing if I gave... It's a fire, you'd get, you know, you'd get the same deal there. And then you'd get ply, because you're getting two waters. And then Isaac here would be getting stuff like gro- That's the secret! That's the secret! Oh! How could I have missed that? I've had the ability the whole time, I just haven't figured it out. Oh! Time to cause an earthquake. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Nice, I was thinking like, where's the, like, there's a long dungeon, nothing's really like, hopped out at me, my brain was thinking that, and then, right on cue. And the best part, is that it's all my fault. That's what I love about, like, some of these games, is that you, yourself, are the monster. Oh wait, yeah, you can use your your brand new blast. <laughs> oh, that's a that's an icon. So you can use a blast, and no one else is mixing matching for the moment. Ah, oh, I gotta toy around with the mechanics a bit more, and also maybe remember, because I remember there were two places with, um, with plant things, and I can't remember where the other one was. Uh, this feels like a room that I've definitely been in, I'm just wandering around the wrong way. Like, this feels like the minecart room from earlier. It is the minecart room from earlier. Nice. Uh, I guess we'll do it quick. Whoops. Uh, T Undra. That doesn't really do that much damage at all. Hmm. Uh, so for perspective, they give me 180... Okay, so that's about 1% of my experience. I do appreciate that the, um... Yeah, the experience comes at a pretty, like, good pace, because, like, how long have I been playing this game? Does it track eight hours? And it's like, yeah, like, I'm level 16 across the board. And the levels aren't, aren't taking forever. They're doing pretty alright. These monkeys, though, I swear... Give them the cutting edge. Cutting edge, like. I s oh, I'm thinking of Fire Emblem. And by Fire Emblem, I mean Fire Emblem's presence in Super Smash Brothers. Because, yeah, my knowledge of Fire Emblem doesn't go very far, unfortunately. Uh, 
Alright, let's see how long it takes me to wander back to the bit. I'm actually just playing that one. I don't want to fight more monkeys, even though they do give pretty decent experience. Like, I'm not struggling, I'm fighting everything. Okay, so we're back to this room. Don't go in the, the door there. You can't go down into the pit. So that means around the pit. But down, down seems to be the way to go. Single bat, single bat. Oh, what? Wait. No, that's the beginning. That's the beginning. Uh, you can't even repoint that. Oh, how do you move this? Yeah, I don't see anything that, like, particularly looks like, uh... I don't see anything that particularly looks like, uh, getting rid of the, um... This rock somehow. Uh, might as well fight him. Yep. <laughs> oh, double tapped. Uh... So I guess I'm wondering, does, is getting rid of the, uh, or rather putting the hole there, is that me to come back elsewhere, or uh, to walk outside and something bad happens? Because I guess from the looks of this, that looks like I'm about to run outside, yeah. Okay. It's definitely not force. This force is like punching a thing. And out of everything else I can trade with, like I look at that and I go like... Oh like, what is this like? Thorn Briar? I don't think Thorn or Briar would be us. Uh, Planet Diver, like Nova, what are these names? And I trade it with that and then I get the stuff, okay. Try with here, like Gaia doesn't. I don't see anything that like, yeah, screams, screams out that ability to me. Trade that. Slash wind slash wind slash is legitimately the fire emblem one. I think. Dow's drench. Oh, there's Dow's. Oh, I can't believe I'm I'm actually missing this. Okay, and then like this prism prism plasma impact. I mm, nothing speaks out to me to, to getting rid of that. So that means I have to go this way. That's where the hole is. Oh, unless that's just a ladder. That's just a ladder. Okay. Alright, who put a dungeon here? Who put a dungeon here? If this goes straight to a boss, I will greatly appreciate that. Ooh, jeez. Okay. Um, let's go in for it. What's going hard? Start off hard. Alright, let's see who actually can do the most damage here. 243 on off okay. I have the feeling the water one is not gonna do much. 140, okay. That's a that's a two. A two gym. That could do a fair bit of damage. It's not too much. I think it's just the fact that it's gonna hit a lot of people. So this is the water one. Probably not too much, right? 219, it's not as much as the wind one. So I'll focus on the wind one. Make sure I haven't stayed alive and the fire one. 193. It, and that again was uh, was that two or three? I think it was three actually. Okay. So now uh, what do I do? Well, you've got nothing supportive, so stick with that. Um, 
guys will just go with that. I apparently seem to have nothing supported full stop. That's what I get for unleashing everything in one go. That's okay though. I got a lot of lot of damage coming in. So more tundra. Okay, that's gonna hit. That's just gonna hit Isaac and Garrett. That's fine. Okay, now some max health is coming back. Uh, I'm gonna do a cure on Garrett. Uh, Garrett can just go with a cutting edge because that seemed to do a lot of damage. Uh, keep going with a hard attack, sir, and we'll do a fly on Isaac. Okay. You know one thing I noticed? The amount of exclamation marks after an enemy, like when you attack them. That doesn't seem like one, but I saw there was sometimes when like there was one exclamation mark, sometimes there were three. Is that a super effective thing, or is that just say like you did a lot of damage? If I go back to doing um, oh, all the gins changed. I just yeah, I just realized this entire move set just changed because he's got uh, probably because he's got a power in one thing and then yeah, doesn't use it. But I feel like I'm just stick with the spells on this one, I guess. Sure. Mm. We did it! Nah, it's not that strange. Oh, I'm sure you get that thing all the time. It's just strange to me. Pfft. They were created long, long ago. What are they for? Oh god, it's a bomb. Or it can... Sure, I guess. You think it would have seen the, um... I, oh, I guess he was only attacking with, um... Range attacks. May not have been moving. Okay, uh, the typical we'll retreat. Get out of here. Get the heck out of dodge. Whoosh. Out we go. Does this guy mention something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. The mine is up. I wonder if that's just optional. Bestows. Oh, lift. I appreciate you move it between people. Uh, let's give it to Ivan because Ivan needs some love. So. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's the one! That's the one! That's the thing I need! In order to continue! That's the thing! That's the thing! Oh, of course. It's obvious now. Oh, no, where am I going? Okay, at this point, at this point, I feel like I'm way over level for these guys. Experience doesn't seem like it scales though, it seems static. So, that's fair enough. Uh, I guess I'll stand right up to it. Do it again. I wish you could have like a quick menu of all the, the, um, the side you had instead of having to like kind of scroll through some menus. Because um, they, they come up too much. Uh, let me bring up my Harry Potter example again. Uh, that one, you literally just tapped L, and then you hit B, and that was it. Um, also, the start button had like an actual use instead of just like being like a different menu. Like, just put everything in one menu. Why? Why do we need like two different menus? Select does the same thing as well, by the way. Someone decide this? I don't know why. Uh, do I get a chest for coming around here, or do I just sense a pro- Oh! Oh, I see how it is. Wait, what? 
It's not even that far away. It's really not that far away. If I didn't know any better, I would have just wandered slightly back through the... Okay. Okay, whatever. Whatever, okay. Alright, uh... Nice, nice. Okay. So now... Uh, Lift. Do the animation. I get it, I get it, I get it. One day I will find all the Golden Sun clones, but today... I'm just seeing this one. That is simply a move, that's not a, a push. That's what I was wanting. It's worth. I'll fight the, the monkey for good measure. Monkeys in video games, I swear. He really goes. He goes. Wow, you know it you know it's bad when the enemy tries to run and there's no escape. How often does that happen? I don't know too many RPGs where enemies attempt to flee and then like it fails to do so. Imagine a Pokemon game where um enemies like flee quite frequently. I know um I think X and Y introduced like some that like kind of not contextually but like very specific Pokemon will try and run away. Uh and then there's the obvious ones, you got your Abras, like I know there's that, but like ones that specifically run. It's either X or Y or it's uh Sun and Moon. So that's the temp wait. Temple. Wait, hold on. Am I going to the temple? Uh. Shan's all the way over there. I think I gotta let the person in. Yeah! Oh! Hold on, I'll help you. I'll help you. What a poor guy! I can't help him because he's all the way over there. Really poor guy, I can't even do anything about it. You're okay. Uh This kinda looks like something falls into this gap, but I don't know if that's just texture or not, so uh I think this guy's going to unfortunately have to suffer for a bit longer while I check out this temple. Hi there. Uh, he's the church? Got it. Hi there. Rest before you go? Got it. Oh. oh. The Kung Fu training. Ooh, mythical rock. Does that mean I could just minery the rock or like... Oh, okay. Strange, bizarre, got it. Okay, sure. This person looks very like the other person. Uh, I guess. I had anticipated, yeah, okay. Wow. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, snap. We got the similar powers going on. Seems that all Jupiter Adepts... Man, how kind are these people? Seriously, we've got all these random towns, people never go anywhere their whole lives, and yet, yet, there's this magical force that connects various people around the world. 
and there's quite a few of them who know way more than everyone else about it as well. That's the strange part. Ah, reveal. Reveal. True sight. Oh, do you get to see the rock? You waited here to teach this one person a thing. Oh, you gotta do it. Ah, oh, how could he mess up the roads? Okay, sure. You need the power revealed across the evil Lamakan Desert. Yeah, that's possible. I don't buy it. Magic? Pfft, we don't believe in it. So, so what's worse than a hot desert? An evil hot desert. It just happens, I know. Ah. Uh. So what's the reveal gonna do? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Why do we need that? Won't we be able to see them? Ooh, the logic guy gets it. Do you know what a mirage is? Oh, do tell. Do tell. Intense heat creates a curtain of air that distorts the tr- Wow, you gave the, uh, the literal definition, and then... Nah, we don't need it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why do you tell them that, like, you gotta do it, and then you just, like, tell them that they can't do it? Well, they're not an adept. There you go. You got too many variables. Too many variables. Your theory's bunk. <gasps> there was a change! This is, this is the girl from earlier who figured out how to get past the rocks. I sensed it! Oh, snap. <laughs> I'll let the guy die in there. Whoops. Gems. Oh, would you look at that? Your theory not only was not bunk, but it was also really poorly made as well. Oh, whoops. Forgot. Uh... There you go. Ooh. 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 I like this idea of kind of elder, elders giving on the, the stronger powers of the world. But you may suck at it. Figure it out. <laughs> okay. It's all good. All good. We, what? So let's save the person. Uh, I think this place is just the temple, isn't it? It's just these two fellas. You know what meditation is? Yeah, sure. I always find meditation to be like a very interesting thing because like... Uh, you get some ideas where it's like... Oh, it's like, what, what can I do here? I can't do anything, I gotta go all the way around. I actually have to go all the way around, I don't think I can do anything here. Awesome, but it's like, yeah, like in order to do lift, you have to be next to it. So I can't reach it. And they're on the other side there, so do I have to 
Do I have to legitimately like wander around? I'm gonna forget this by next week, so I'm I'm committing to this. And then if it's not the way to go, then oh, all right, you know, shouldn't be too bad to like get over to the other side of this, but. I have to awkwardly use the lift a few times to do it. Okay, yeah. I wish... I wish I could just like... Boom, boom, bam, bam, enemies dead. They still take a bit of... A bit of damage. Like, uh, awkwardly a little bit too much that you have to keep manually healing and then your magic just keeps coming back anyway. And I keep getting levels, so... That's the best part. It's the fact that if I was really that far away from from what loves, I wouldn't begin them so quick. Or this just seems to be like the key grinding spot for the time being. So here's what I was thinking: was that like I go around? And then I'm on the other side of this, which by the way, let's let's get uh, this down pat. So first of all, uh, I freeze this. Also, is there another like exit that I'm just not curious about? Okay, so I freeze that and then I gotta shift the synergy such that you get dows. So if I go here and now you go here, now you can do dows. Which is what I need in order to... Maybe it's the plant one. Also, restoring party HP, that's a interesting one. Uh, so yeah, maybe you need the, uh... Haunt? Yeah, there's a lot of weird ones, because like you don't even get that from this one, do you? Oh no, you sort of. Okay. Uh, do you need it? Maybe it's Briar? No, I can't use that outside of battle. What could it be now? Okay, well, theory's bunk. Wait, they... They fixed it anyways! Wait, what? Hold on, what? I'm... Quite confused what's happened here. I think I may have broken the game. Okay, I will leave it there. I will not save because I saved before, uh, before walking around. I'm curious what just happened because that door doesn't seem to be open, but not too sure what's going on there. Uh, seems to be pretty good. I got this massive desert in front of me, so that's going to be fun for for next time. But for the time being, I think that'll be it for today. So in that case. Thank you guys so very much for, for watching the stream. Uh, yeah, if you if you like the stuff and you, you stayed along, you can follow on Twitch. You can subscribe on YouTube if you're on YouTube, which I just upload mods. But who knows? Maybe I'll have uh, some unique stuff there. Uh, Golden Sun is still still getting interesting. There's still a lot of stuff going on with it, so I'm liking that. Uh, but other than that, have a good week, guys. Have a good Chinese New Year, if you do celebrate that. Um, uh, and if there's any other kinds of holidays going on around... Oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day on Sunday. Nice. In that case, happy Valentine's Day to everyone as well. Make sure you get all the chocolates. This is the best time to get chocolates until, until Easter. Where you'll get more chocolates. Don't eat too much chocolate. Or do. Chocolate's always good. Alright, take care everyone.